Hey guys, welcome back to Planet J Judah and welcome back to another Reddit Am I the A Hole Crochet Slash Knit Edition. As always, I go into Reddit and I look it up blind right in front of you as as we speak, and I look up something within the last seven days. If I can't find anything there, I will keep going back until I can find stories. It has been difficult. So hopefully we will be able to keep doing these. Uh, that being said, if we decide, and you decide as well, that the person is the a-hole, please do not troll their page. I don't want to be associated with that kind of negativity. We are just doing this in fun. It's just, uh, yeah, we're just doing this in fun. Hopefully we don't have any more scary stories like we did a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's find our first story. So this one is crochet, am I the a-hole? And it says, am I the a-hole for making a birthday gift for my ex? And it is from six days ago. And I don't, just by the headline, I don't know. If you're good friends with your ex, then I don't see what the issue is unless you're with somebody else and that person is bothered by it, then yeah, I would say you're the a-hole. But let's read and see what their story is. So I, 25 female, live with my boyfriend, 19 male, for the past couple of weeks. I've been working on a gift for my friend Kyle, 30 male, who is also who I also dated before meeting my current boyfriend. Boy, she goes from 30 to 19. All right. We don't really hang out at or anything, but me and Kyle have a ton of history and I feel very strange about just completely cutting off people from my life that have been so important to me. We'll text and talk on the phone every now and then to catch up and my boyfriend James has not exactly been thrilled, but he knows how I feel and I have never hidden any conversations or meetings from him. So Kyle's birthday was on Tuesday, and for the past couple of weeks, I've been working on a birthday gift for him in my spare time. Pandas were sort of a meme for us in our relationship, so I've been making him a large crochet panda. I told James about this, who it was for and why I was making it when I first started, because he always asks what I'm making. It was very much an, oh, uh okay reaction. He didn't seem to find anything objectionable about it. We don't exchange gifts, but considering it's his 30th, I wanted to do something nice. So Monday, I mentioned that I'm going to meet Kyle at a coffee shop the next day to give him the gift and a card, and James blows up. He says that it hurts him a lot for me to sit around making a birthday gift for an ex-boyfriend and that I've never made anything for him like that. Once, wait, other than being, uh, sorry, other than being untrue, in parentheses, I made several beanies that he still wears. I was mostly just confused. I feel like I communicated pretty well and that he had plenty of time and opportunity to just talk with me if it bothered him so much. It wasn't a huge fight or anything, and I gave Kyle his panda as planned, but it's been sort of an awkward couple of days. Okay, so this next part she summarized, made a birthday gift for my ex-boyfriend for his 30th birthday. Boyfriend got upset with me. Am I the a-hole here? People can disagree with how I deal with my exes, but none of that was ever hidden from James, and I've never been anything but friendly and platonic. Okay, so I would, I mean, it seemed like he was kind of upset when you, when he first asked what it was for and that it was for your ex. So in that respect, yeah, obviously it seemed to bother him and you chose not to discuss it any further. You just let him react, um, okay. Like, 
I obviously we weren't in the room, so we don't know how he physically reacted other than just by the words that are right here. Um, that being said, I would never make something for an ex, especially if I haven't maintained a good, a close relationship. Uh, Gosh, I don't even, <laughs> yeah, no, I just, I wouldn't do that because I don't, that just feels wrong to me. So I am saying, yes, you are the a-hole. Let's see what Reddit has to say. <laughs> yes, the a-hole, the way that you view gifts are slightly different from what your boyfriend thinks. You are making a gift for a person while consistently think. Well, consistently think of that said person. Uh, yes, I think your b boyfriend's real discomfort is that you have been thinking about another guy other than himself. And to give such a one-of-a-kind gift, personal gift, to another man, and especially back to an ex, I think this gesture would hurt anyone given the circumstances. Exactly. Yes, the a-hole. Things are never as clear-cut as we want them to be. Not all, not to others and not to ourselves. You should listen to what your boyfriend is telling you because you are doing something unusual. Most people remove themselves from the emotional entanglements that exes entail. It is simpler because it means you don't devote as much effort to maintaining a relationship that must be consistently defined against its past self. Also, your boyfriend is 19, and as a teenager, his brain is still developing. Maybe go easy on the kid. That is definitely true. I mean, here's a not the a-hole. At this point, your friend Kyle should have a status in your life as simply a friend. The fact that you once dated does not change the reality that he is your friend. You should be able to give your friend a gift without it being construed as suspicious or strange. Hopefully your boyfriend will come to realize this over time. I don't know that I agree with that. I mean, yes, it is true, but I mean, I guess it really depends on how close the relationship is. I don't know. Anyways, here's the last comment. Not going to lie, making a gift for your ex can be a bit touchy, but if you communicated with your boyfriend and kept it real about it, and kept it real about it, you're not an a-hole. Okay. Just sounds like he's feeling some kind of way about it, which is valid too. Yes. Maybe just reassure him that you, you're with him and your past is in the past. Keep it cute and clear, you know? Okay, so, I mean, so there's two, yes, you are, and there's two, no, you're not. I don't know. I just, when, by going by the story, and when the OP started the panda, and the boyfriend asked, what are you doing? And they re relayed what they were doing, and his response was, uh, oh, uh, okay, I don't know, that just, that felt like it wasn't, like, they didn't particularly care for the idea of it. I don't know. I mean, if you already knew that he wasn't exactly thrilled, then definitely, I still think you're the a-hole. All right, let's see if we can find something else. All right, so this story is on theme for the season. Its title is, Am I the A-Hole for Hating My Wife's Creepy Hobby Project? And the person that I've displayed here says they are not the original poster. The original poster is this person. And it's been ongoing, it looks like. There's been one update. It was the original uh, post was August 31st of this year, and the update was September 5th of this year. So, am I the a-hole for hating my wife's creepy 
hobby project. Okay, so this sounds insane, and I swear my wife is totally normal otherwise, which makes this so strange to me. For context, we're both in our late 30s and live in a pretty typical suburban neighborhood where we all know each other. My wife has always loved trashy movies and shows about infidelities, and she eats up true crime about spouses killing their cheating partners too. She just says something about it makes her morbidly morbidly fascinated in her words. Well, a couple of months back, we had a scandal in our neighborhood where a married couple in the neighborhood divorced because the husband cheated. No, there wasn't a murder or anything like that, but she became obsessed with learning every detail from every neighbor. No matter the occasion, be it a baby shower or cookout, she would bring it up, hoping that there would be any new information. A month later is when I stumbled on the board in her home office. I was doing some cleaning and I found a massive bulletin board facing away leaned up against the wall. Curiosity got the better of me and I turned it around to find a literal effing conspiracy board of all our neighbors pictures with lines of yarn connecting each other like the effing Pepe Silva meme. I'm going to have to look that up and maybe post it here. That is if I find it. I was totally confused and I asked where, what this was and I was totally confused and I asked where, what this was and she told me it was a hobby. Oh, asked her what this was. Uh, and she told it, her told me it was a hobby she started recently where she would track rumors or likely candidates for cheating on the board. The yarn represented who was possibly cheating with whom. She had clearly gotten all the images on Facebook or some social media and printed them out and even had a few sticky notes with details. I told her this was creepy and insane, and she said maybe if I was doing it as a man, but she is just having harmless fun as a hobby, and she wouldn't be crazy and try to oust anyone based on rumors. She just likes feeling like a detective. She told me to view it like a creative art piece. So I'm guessing our connection to crochet is the fact that there's yarn. But let's keep going. I was still super weirded out, but let it go. Or tried. I thought about it a lot. Well, every now and then, I'd, I admit to checking the board when cleaning. But just a couple days ago, I looked to see that now I was on the board with a yarn attached to a neighbor's wife. I am casual, casual friends with. Oh, I am casual friends with? Question mark. I asked her why she added me if she thought I was cheating and she said she said that was a different yarn color for potential matches for cheating. She said it it makes me feel better she was planning on adding herself to the board soon. Okay, dokie. Well, I got mad, pissed and kind of lost my temper about it. I told her to get rid of the board or our marriage will be in trouble. Things have been super rocky since. Uh, I don't blame that, or I don't doubt that. Sorry for the long post. I am starting to feel bad and it hit me more than usual this morning. Should I apologize to her? And before you ask, no, I don't suspect her of cheating. Honestly, I wish she was because it would at least make more sense than this, am I the a-hole? <laughs> Okay, so there is a comment that says, I really couldn't see it getting weirder until she mentioned adding herself to the board. This is a strange game your wife's playing, and it seems like an unhealthy obsession with infidelity. Um... Somebody else said, right, is this her way of admitting to cheating? I'm so confused. 
Then somebody else said, not the a-hole. I'm a big fan of true crime myself and can be nosy about neighborhood gossip, but I would use my yarn to crochet stuff while I watch or listen to true crime YouTube channels. It's absolutely creepy for her to print out pictures of her neighbors and then speculating about you and another neighbor. You don't have to be okay with whatever your spouse does. I would have done the same thing if I were in your shoes. Judgment, not the a-hole. Update. So there's, this is the update. Five days later. Anyway, Jesus Christ, firstly, appreciate all of the concern and not the a-holes. If it gave me the courage to approach her and tell her that while I may have overreacted by threatening our marriage, I think it is a creepy thing to do. She apologized and said we would get rid of the board. I thought we were good. Oh no. Literally two days later, two days later, poop hits the fan. Our happily married next door neighbor finds a woman's bra under the bed and does not, that does not belong to her. It doesn't take long for the whole neighborhood to find out. Well, my wife is giddy, like jumping up and down for joy. She shows me the board, which she still didn't trash like she promised. And of course, the husband was marked with yarn, meaning he was likely to cheat. She told me the board was accurate after all, and maybe she should keep her hobby around. <laughs> I definitely, I was definitely suspicious, so I looked at the board again later. It looked different from the last time I saw it before the last latest scandal. Instead of the yarn connecting to another neighbor, the cheating husband's yarn connected to a post-it with a question mark. Firstly, it was the only question mark there, and I swore it wasn't there last time I saw the board. So either she changed it after the cheating to prove a point, or slightly before it happened, which made me more suspicious either way. Now I felt like I was the detective and I was going crazy. I went over to the cheating husband's, <coughs> excuse me, I went over to the cheating husbands to ask a few questions. The wife was staying at her friend, at her parents, so it was just the two of us. I asked him if he actually did it, and he said no, he would never. Then I asked if my wife had been over recently. He said one day while you were at work, his wife asked her to water a plant they had while they were both away, and I told her where the key was, so yes. I immediately raised an eyebrow. <laughs> Did she plant it there? Oh my goodness. Okay. I immediately raised an eyebrow. I asked if he still had the bra and he was getting nervous and told me not to get the wrong idea. I said, don't worry. He still had the bra and I looked at, looked at it. It was my wife's, but one I knew she almost never wore because it was from a lingerie sh set. I bought her one Christmas, she said, was uncomfortable. I told my neighbor I needed to talk to my wife and ran out, but I told him not to worry. I approached her with the bra and asked her what was going on. She played stupid, but I told her to cut the BS. I asked if she had either cheated on me with him or planted it there. Either way, she was in trouble. She confessed to planting the bra and said it was to make me admit her hobby was valid or something. This woman is nuts. Oh my goodness. I flipped on her. I said this was worse than her cheating on me because instead of running, ruining just our marriage, she ruined our neighbors and ours. I demanded she call the wife and admit to everything, even sending pictures of the board. I even showed the Reddit post, which actually helped convince her, convince her my wife had planted it rather than cheated with, my hus with her husband. Well, they made up, but now I have no idea what to do. I am barely speaking to my wife, and it is only a matter of time before the entire neighborhood figures this out. I seriously need advice. And then here's some comments from the update. 
I honestly refuse to believe this is real. Your wife is actually nuts. This is insane behavior to have. Yeah. I was thinking just the opposite. This one is so original, it's got to be real. No AI is going to come up with this insanity that is left to humans. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, another one. One word. Divorce. I'm sorry, but your wife deliberately interfered with someone else's marriage to the point where it could have been ruined just so she could validate her hobby. She did not validate it. She said what she did is inexcusable. What she did is inexcusable, in my opinion. Uh, another comment. I was suspicious she planted the bra as soon as she said he said she was giddy to hear the news. His wife is certifiable. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I am not the OP, OOP, or the original poster. Please do not harass the original poster. Please remember the no uh, brigading rule to be civil in the comments. Someone else said, uh, that is an interesting men mental illness, illness she's got there. I mean, okay, I would definitely, yeah, no. I... So, was this story made up and the only connection to crochet was the yarn and then the comment that they would be using the yarn to crochet while watching true crime on YouTube? <laughs> I don't know. That is definitely a certifiably insane action. If this is true, oh my goodness, that woman needs help. Seriously. Wow. Okay. No, the, the original OP, I would say, is not the a-hole for anything because that is some crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. All right. So we are at the something cute and these two little amigurumi halloween -y Plushies are adorable. I love the scarecrow. So did the the uh, OP. The, it says, my little Halloween crochet projects. I like the scarecrow better, but they both act as decoration in my room. Those, I love. They're so cute. The mummy almost looks like a little voodoo doll. But that, I'm like, it's so cute. They're absolutely adorable. I love it. I would love to find a pattern for that but I don't see anything in regards to a pattern there's comments that said they're both cute really incredible work and then the OP says thank you that's literally it this was posted two days ago those are just adorable that scarecrow I have a thing for pumpkins we all know this so that scarecrow is absolutely adorable absolutely adorable well, <laughs> there you go. We got another crazy Am I the A-Hole crochet slash knit edition. And the second one really didn't even have anything to do with crochet or fiber art in that regards. Other than the fact that there was yarn involved. But that being said, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, I would love it if you would hit the like button. Leave me a comment. Did you think they were the A-Hole? And did you think that second story was true? I don't know. That's some crazy stuff. Anyways, I hope that you have a really great day. If you'd like to be notified of any and all future uploads, hit the subscribe button and click all on the notification bell. And with that, remember, gravity works, guys.